Mr. Got Me again. Hello, hello, my friends. It's Ben Ben here, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. It is Sunday, the 7th, the end of the first week of spring, and I am excited. So much has happened in this first week. It is insane. Let's see what's, ooh, what's on the television. Weather tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Another day, day after day of perfect weather. Oh, it's supposed to be a uh, polony today, I believe. What does the fortune teller say today? The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Well, all right, I'll try not to do anything that requires luck. What does the queen of source say? Greetings, it is I, the queen of source, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, stir fry. It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. Ooh, I learned how to cook stir fry. That's fantastic. Very happy with that. Oh, look. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. So pretty. Okay. We have mail. What to say? Hi, me sell hats. Okay, poke. Come to old, old, old house. Poke, bring coinies. Hat mouse. The hat mouse is in the house. <laughs> we will go down this afternoon and we will meet the hat mouse. But first, oh, we have a potato. Hello, little potato. I have harvested a potato and we need to go and buy some food. We need to go and buy some more seeds and we need to all water all our crops. And then we need to think about what we're going to do today. Hmm. Hmm. Well, how about I water my crops and we see how much energy we have left because it might be worth trying to get the level 10 in the mines because I do need quite a bit of ore uh, to do what I want to do, which is upgrade all of my tools, um, apparently build a copper trash can. Who knew? I think I've got a geode too. I should take that over to Clint before I forget. I haven't been very lucky with geodes actually in terms of um, getting them because they give you things like minerals that you can donate to the museum and I'm really excited to donate things to the museum. There's Joey. Hi Joey, what are you doing Bubba? Running around chasing butterflies. Please try not to eat any parrots. I would really appreciate that. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, fourteen seeds. Let's put you away and you away. And we're going to take our geode with us. I think that's all we need, really. Oh. We're going to take this. Yep, we've got more than enough energy, I think, to do a little bit of mining today because planting seeds won't take that much energy. All right, guys, let's head for town first. Get ourselves some seeds, pick up some forage along the way and then head for the mines. This is exciting. It's really great now that we've talked to everyone. Oh, and I must not forget, I must not forget that it is Lewis's birthday today. Oh, and we have a job. Right, it's on. It's on. Help wanted. Trying to keep the art of fishing alive. I'll pay 90 gold to any fishing enthusiast who catches three herring. Right. Complete change of plans, my friend. Because we've got two days to produce three herrings. So guess what we're going to be doing for the rest of the day. But first, good morning, Pierre. How are you today, my friend? <sighs> I've got those behind the counter blues. Oh, look, I totally understand. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to wave my sword at you there. It is an absolutely beautiful day outside. And I'm sorry that you are squished in here all by yourself. I'm going to buy 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I make sure I can't remember how much food costs and it would be terrible to not have enough money to buy Lewis some food. Hello. Hey. What? You want to talk to me? I'm busy. Sure. Okay. 
you uh, you just be busy there. I don't think the saloon is open yet. Midday. All right, we'll come back at midday. Let us. Ooh. Let us head home. Plant these seeds. And then head down to the beach. So much for going to the mines today, but we will try and go to the mines tomorrow. There's Joey wandering around. All right, two seeds. Wow, he barks almost as much as my boy does. One, two, three, four. Well, I can't count. Good job. Good job, Pen. Hey, Joe. How you doing, Bubba? All right, you go back. You go in there. I want that. Uh, is there anything I can eat? Ooh, leek. Leek, is it worth it? No, we'll just wing it. We're going to wing it. But we are first going to head over to Clint and see if we can get this geode sorted out. And then we need to fish for three herring. Wow, you do a lot of fishing in the beginning of this game, uh, mostly because it's an easy way to get money while you're waiting for your crops to grow. And by the time I finish at... The blacksmiths I should be able to come back and get that food for Lewis and then I could spend the rest of the day fishing and you might think like oh fishing you know that's boring it's really not where am I going go away who Jojo Co um it's it's really exciting I just love you know seeing what's coming up hey Clint guess what I have another geode how are you today don't you have work to do? Goodness me. Forgotten how rude everyone is in the beginning of the game. Like, oh, I got some copper. That's not bad. Oh, and you know what? I forgot. I still have not um, bought 300 wood to fix that bridge. It's a constant battle to remember all the jobs that you need to do in this game. But let us focus. We're going to pinch this daffodil from out front of... Lewis's garden. Where are you in there, Lewis? Oh goodness, where's he gone? Where's he gone? We're going to go and buy some food. And the reason I'm buying food is that, aha, please come and, and do food stuff. The reason I'm buying food is that uh, any cooking is a, no, I need to buy stuff. Oh good, I can still buy it. Uh, it's a universal like, so everybody loves something that's been cooked with the exception of breadsticks because breadsticks are boring. So if you don't have something that somebody really likes and you want to give them something they'll appreciate, food is always welcome. So we can get him a salad or we can get him some spaghetti or pizza. But honestly, well, pizza's too expensive. How is pizza 600 gold? You see what I mean? This is why I needed to make sure I had lots of money left. I'm going to get myself some spaghetti. And you can cook all of this eventually when you upgrade your house and um, and you get a kitchen. But I can't do that right now. So don't even ask me where all of my food is. There you are, is going. How are you today, Lewis? Sniff, sniff. Ah, I sense you've been spending some time in the old community center. It's good to know someone's taking care of the place. Now, how exactly by smelling me can you tell that I've been spending time in the community center? Maybe I smell dusty. Let's go with that. Let's go with dusty. Uh, I have a gift for you, my friend, because I believe, let's just check, because now I'm paranoid that I've got it wrong. Nope, it is Lewis's birthday. All right. Lewis, my friend, bought you some spaghetti. Yay! You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. I'm so glad that you liked it. I kind of knew you would, but that's good. Ooh, how to win friends. Giving gifts is a great way to build friendships. Learn each person's individual taste and you'll be popular in no time. Reward 100 gold. Well, I don't care about being popular, but I do like making people smile. So that was definitely worth doing. Hello. How are you today, Granny? It's nice to be so close to the ocean. The sound of the sea makes going to sleep a lot easier. I bet it does. I actually, I've never lived next to the ocean, but I've been on holiday, you know, to places that are next to the ocean and it really is nice for sleeping. You know, you just drift off so easily. Oh, oh, worms. I mean, twigs, worms. <gasps> Ooh. Ornamental fan artifact. Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum. Okay, I'm going up to the museum. 
I'm sorry. Quick change of plans. I'm just going to head for the museum because I really need to donate the fan that I've just found. And I've got heaps of time to get herring. Heaps of time. <laughs> it's the balancing act, you know. Energy, time and jobs. That's what makes this game so compelling. You know, if you had all the time in the world to do things, it'd be quite boring. Oh, here we go. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Ooh. What's this? You found something. Let me see it. Ooh, okay. Oh, I did bring it to you. Yeah, it looks interesting, doesn't it? Remarkable. It's very old. Ooh, that's exciting. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favour to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artefacts or minerals that you find? Absolutely, I would. We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. That would be so exciting. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. That would be brilliant. My friend, I'd be more than happy to do that. Think about it, will you? No, I've already thought. I've decided. If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Will do. I will indeed do that. This is going to be great fun because, you know, I do a lot of digging out at the farm. Things come up all the time, so you never know what you might find. Hello, my friend. I'm here to donate to your museum. I have an ornamental fan, which I'm going to place right there. Ooh. What does my journal say? Archaeology. Gunther asked if you'd consider donating any new artifacts or minerals you find to the museum. He says he'll compensate you by way of occasional rare goods. Reward 250 gold. My friend, that's reward enough. That is wonderful. Thank you so much. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? Well, I will. I will. That was extremely rewarding. I'm very happy about that. This is why you need to always carry your hoe around with you so that if you see some worms in the ground, you can dig them up. Hello, Sam. Oh, it's a nice day, isn't it? It really is. It is absolutely, it is always a beautiful day in Stardew Valley. You should always remember that. All right, let us head down to, oh, Elliot. Sorry, just got to talk to Elliot. Elliot, Elliot. Hello, I hope your new farming life is panning out as you'd hoped. It really is. Although, to be perfectly honest, Elliot, I don't actually do a lot of farming, but I do an awful lot of running around and talking to people and picking up things and digging holes and killing monsters. And yeah, farming, not so much, but it's still great fun. I'm having an absolute ball. So what do we need? Let's just confirm. I'm pretty sure it is three herring. Yes, it is three herring. Here we go. Let us hope for herring. I do like all of these sort of just floating around in the air. Oh, what have we got? Good, good. Yes, yes. Uh, no, yes, no. Come on, come on. Oh, what did the spirit say today? It was a uh, mildly perturbed. That means I'm not going to have a lot of luck. And I got a sardine. Okay, herring. We're thinking about herrings. So this is the last day of the week. So we have been going for a whole week. And what I said to Elliot is actually true. The farming aspect of this game is actually quite a small part of it. Um, which is hilarious because, you know, Stardew Valley is all about being a farmer. But again, this is what makes the game so much more interesting than just a farming game because you have so many aspects that you can do. And very soon we're going to... Oh, oh, can I get it? Oh, just missed out. Oh, I did get a herring. Good. That's one. One. Yes. Um, You get to specialise in your skills and you can decide whether, you know, you want to get most of your money from farming or foraging or you know fishing and that sort of thing and um i love the way the game develops and usually by the end of the first year you you're sort of set up in terms of most of your skills 
and then you think oh well what else is left in the game well there's still more because once you've done a lot of the basic stuff it opens up a new area that you can explore oh that was an easy one oh flounder again now i'm presuming because most of the materials in this game have recipes that come with them so i presume there will be new recipes that i can cook involving flounder so i will have to actually keep a couple of flounder you know at the beginning of the game you just want to sell everything and you don't have the space to keep it anyway but as the game progresses and as you get ooh, into the second or third year you need to hang on to things so that you can cook all the recipes because of course one of the parts of the game that's really important is to get all of why were you so much trouble to catch um is to get all of the collections you know so this is items shipped from you know that little box that i have at the farm uh now what oh i haven't shipped a horseradish okay uh don't know i think that's a cave carrot anyway there's a mass of them and there's actually more now than there were so what i try to do is as soon as i get something new i try and put it in the box and ship it um just so that i can get the entire collection so i've got a good amount of fish already that's excellent um but yeah as you can see that what is that i have no idea i think that's new artifacts got my fan i love collecting artifacts and actually the artifacts in my other game my year year four game that i had been playing before this update came out um this is the one collection that i haven't finished because i just couldn't get one of the artifacts and i can't remember which one it was uh there's minerals i've only got quartz so far that's not very good here's the cooking one so you have to cook every single thing in this list um, which takes quite some time because some of the ingredients you can only get in certain seasons and some of the ingredients like catfish for example you can only get in a particular season when it's raining in a particular spot so they're really difficult to get um, I've got a single achievement so far which is catch 10 different fish but I mean there's earning money making friends uh, complete 10 help wanted quests well I must be on the way to that and what's this one backpacks from oh okay this is ah this is new too okay so now you get to keep um the letters from people that's good because once upon a time you got the letter and then it just disappeared you couldn't remember what was said so yeah one of the important things in this game is to get all is well if you like that sort of thing and i do like that sort of thing or i would play this sort of game is to make sure that you've collected everything and oh goodness that was an accidental click on my part is to make sure that you've collected everything and to do that again you really have to look at the wiki sometimes to work out where on earth you get these things you know and i really admire people who play this game you know for the first time really early on and work out all this stuff and write it down for so that people like me who come in um, later on actually can play the game without having to spend hours trying to work out certain things about the game and i mean i could do it but i have so many other things that i do it's nice just to be able to look at the wiki and go all right i need to get a you know this special fish that only appears in summer at the end of this pier on a wintry night uh, on a rainy night etc so yeah so the wiki is easy to find you just type in stardew valley wiki so if you are going to play this you know really keep that handy because you will need it if you are going to do collections um, or anything like that and i'm not having much luck with the herrings come on no that's a sardine i've got one herring i need three i'm running out of day this is not good all right oops oh i missed it i was scratching my head and i had it off my mouse you have to be on the ball when that bobber goes you grab it there's no mucking around see willie's down there fishing as well he's like me he likes the fishing okay good yes be a herring be a herring come on be a herring be a herring yes two come on one more i just want to get one last fishing because if i can get the last herring i can actually go down and give it to willy today that means that's good because quite often i have completed a quest and then got up the next day and run around and done my stuff and completely forgot to hand in the quest and of course they only last for two days so if you miss them they're gone and that is you know that's frustrating because it's a waste of resources and time yes what do we got oh no come on be a herring you're herring you don't look very herringy 
Nope, you're a sardine. Or an anchovy. Okay. Are you an anchovy person? Do you like anchovies on pizza? Anchovies are one of those things, I think, which is either you love them or you don't love them. Well, I am firmly in the love camp. I can eat anchovies. I can eat anchovies out of the bottle. I think they are delicious. My husband thinks I'm quite bonkers, but, you know, whatever. Everyone's got their peccadilloes. But, uh, yeah, I love anchovies on pizza. I also like ham and pineapple pizza, which is another thing that people tend to find is... You know, it's a love-hate relationship. You either eat pineapple on pizza or you don't eat pineapple on pizza. The ham and pineapple pizza is fantastic. You know, I don't know why people are always hating on it. So in the comments, you need to tell me, A, anchovies, yes or no? And ham and pineapple pizza, yes or no? Let's see how many people share my addiction to these delicious, delicious flavors. Okay, come on. We want a herring. Oh, I do like it when they sit at the bottom of the the bottom of the rod like that that just makes life so much easier come on come on come on herring herring okay i think that's it yes willy willy guess what i have three herring three herring because you're herring i mean it's a pity that one of them is a gold star but it doesn't matter herring yes Hey, you succeeded, Pen. The herring is an exciting catch, don't you think? They're such strong swimmers. Well, actually, they're quite an easy catch compared to some of the others, but never mind. Well, here's your reward. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. 90 gold. And how are we doing in terms of social? Oh, look at that. We are starting to make an impact, people. We are making friends. So Lewis is currently in the lead because we gave him some spaghetti for his birthday today. He really liked that. And as you can see, we've we've used up one gift slot for the week. So you can only use, you only give two gifts per week. So he's currently in the lead. Linus likes us because, of course, we gave him, uh, what did we give him? I think we gave him a herring too. Herring, great gift. And Sebastian because we gave him a daffodil. And he couldn't remember who we were. Well, how rude. But, uh, yeah, we're making great progress there in the social aspect. How are we going skills-wise? We've got level two fishing, we've got one in foraging, one in mining, and one in farming. What a fantastic week. We are powering along, but it is time to head home. It is 10 to 10 at night. I have had a very busy day, and it is time to head home and hit the bed and see what Joey has eaten while I've been out. This is fantastic. So it's the end of the first week. Oh, there's Abigail. Hello, hello. Oh man, I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll be pulling another all night. Oh, I hear you, girl. I hear you. It was like the night before things are due. Yeah, up till 10 o'clock writing that 500 word essay. We all do it. You know, there's no, I, I extremely distrust people who say that they finish their homework or their assignments or whatever two weeks early. I, I distrust you immensely because you know, that's not how people are normally. You tend to work um, when the pressure is on and you need that certain amount of your body saying, hey, this is due, everybody panic before you get things done. So yeah, I'm totally with you, Abigail. All right, let's hop into bed. Hey, Joe, hop into bed and see how our day went. Oh, no skill levels up. All right, that's all right farming 80 gold from our single potato that we sold but 594 gold from fishing 20 gold from seaweed for a total of 694 gold my friends we have had a fantastic first week but that is the end of the day thank you very much for watching and i will see you tomorrow for another day in stardew valley this is pen pen out goodbye